Welcome to another J Crazy News Headlines and a special Friday night to those who are watching this news broadcast. Now to my viewers and my subscribers, I know you're wondering why do I have up Daniel Rose picture. You see, my viewers and my subscribers, I've said earlier in previous videos that the police will find it very, very hard to solve this case because of their lack of intelligence, their lack of response, and their lack of investigation skills. Now, the cops visit the location where Daniel Rowe should have slashed six days after the crime was committed. That is a lack of response. Now today in the news, yes, the police, the JCF, Fitzbailey are struggling to solve Daniel's Rowe case. Big Tapa Norris Fitzbailey is struggling with his team to solve this case, just like they are struggling to solve Gabriel King's case. And we all know you know, we all know this is a simple case to solve because the murder suspect is usually a close friend or a relative or even a family member. Yes, man. The murder suspect is either a close friend, a relative, or a family member. So Fitzbailey, you should not be struggling. JCF, you should not be struggling. Can you imagine? This case will go to other next Gabriel King. This case will be unsolved by JCF. Yet they remain committed to pushing hard to solve this case. Yet they have not even a shred of lead. And we gave them almost three weeks. Fitzbailey, don't tell me say you have gotten incompetent and complacent like Andrew Wallace. You see, if this was a man or woman who told Andrew Wallace if you go S out in Muma, then find him a long time. Or them find her a long time. But a case like this, them can't solve. What a pity on the JCF. This makes Fitz Bailey looking very bad. Just like the Gabriel King case, all of the mother can't come to the courtroom and even give testimony. Or give the police password to look into her phone. I'll know. I know this again is what? Another unsolved murder? Come on, Fitzbailey. You need to do better. I thought you were a man who thinks beyond the norm when it comes down to investigating murders like these or the murders. I thought you were expert, high ranking in solving case, but no, you're just below average. No leads, really. I am so shocked, Fitzbailey. The big bad Fitzbailey who solves case easily, the head of CTOC who now struggles to solve this case, really? No leads? In almost three weeks, Fitzbailey? Come on, Fitzbailey. Is it that you are telling the pub that you have failed already? JCF, you now bow out already? JCF, what are you trying to do that? You tell the pub that you have failed in solving this case? I have said this in videos last week that JCF won't solve this case because their lack of improper, inadequate investigation. Them can't put two and two together. Or need to hire FBI or CIA to come solve this case. 
or even some top investigators from America or Canada. So you mean the social media circus has been on top of things Fitzbailey? Yes, the social media circus like us vloggers. Can you believe say it's gonna be up to us vloggers to solve this case? Because the police, the JCF have failed? Really? <laughs> My God. This is very sad. I had high praises for you, Fitzbill, but now my praises for you is very low. Is very, very low. I cannot believe the JCF with such latest technology that they have displayed in national arena. Who no really has trouble with actually get a lead in this murder case Daniel Rose murder case since Uno cannot solve this case Fitz Bailey and you fail to look at close friends relatives or even people who are family members in Daniel Rose mother and father circle it seems as if it's up to us vloggers to solve this case now because JCF is failing. They have acknowledged failure. And to you, Mr. Prime Minister, Andrew Wallace, because you're no honorable for me. You have not done anything which is honorable for the people of Jamaica. Please take down this. Please take it down. Because you're only doing this because it looks bad for you as a leader of this country. Your yeah, man, take it down instantly. Because you do not care about the nation's children. You only care about fattening up your pocket and dangling in tax dollars and the poor people funds. So take it down. Because you don't care about nation's children. You are doing this to gain political points. You have no sincerity, no care and no genuineness. But the people of Jamaica much less them children. So, Andrew Wallace, take this down because this is not you. Your person who, the true you rather, yes, the true you ignores the concern of Jamaica and Jamaicans overall because normally you focus on Haiti and other matters outside of Jamaica. So please take this down. This is not you. This is not you, Andrew Wallace. This is the fake you being concerned at a fake level. So, take it down this instant. Now we head towards Mandeville, Manchester, where the wife of Constable Damian Blair is out of hospital and possible charges she will face. But before she will face those charges, she got to do a evaluation, a mental evaluation. Yes, my viewers, a mental evaluation. And these are the pretty words that the news described the evaluation, which is mental to be. A forensic psychiatric evaluation. Yes, indeed, a forensic psychiatric evaluation. What am I trying to say you now? Is a mad woman this? She is mentally disturbed. And the reason why she killed her husband because she was mentally unbalanced. So let me get this straight. When men kill their woman in domestic violence, when it concerns relationships, the court, you know, nobody do no evaluation. Then get charged, prosecuted, sentenced, and go right to jail. So how come this woman, this woman who killed her husband in a very brutal manner, she shot him and used a hammer to inflict wounds to his skull? No want a forensic psychiatric evaluation. You got to be kidding me. Look here now. 
Mande vos police, mande vos court, mande vos hospital. Stop waste the public's time. Stop waste time. Charge her, sentence her, and lock her up. Put her behind bars. This is no mad woman. She knew what she did. Stop, make pity, and have pity on her. When you see the double standard in Jamaica, when it comes down to men versus women, when it concerns crime, murder crime, stop waste the public time. Charge her, lock her up, and throw away the key. Now we head towards the parish of Westmoreland. Now this key right now is Ashana Campbell, who is from George's Plain in the parish of Westmoreland. Now, Ashana Campbell, aka Ash, died in Manchester earlier today. And what she died from is a sad, sad situation indeed. Ashana Campbell, aka Ash, died from blood vessels which clad in her body. Now, the young lady who is from George's Plain in the parish of Westmoreland was living with her boyfriend in Manchester because her boyfriend allegedly ran away from Westmoreland because of a murder. Now, Ashani Campbell was in a relationship with her boyfriend that was very abusive. In beat her come, in beat her go. Where before this, he actually beat her and something happened to her which was very serious but thankfully she recovered during that time but now there is no recovery for her she has lost her life based on blood vessels that were clad in her body now it's evident that she died because of abusive wounds and those abusive wounds were not only external but also internal now the police in Westmoreland and also Manchester need to do a full investigation on this matter or case because something just doesn't sit right. Now we head towards Broughton Square in the parish of Westmoreland where last night a known figure who is known by Cruz was shot and killed at a party in that area by a lone criminal element. Now Cruz is a known chopper, a known scammer in the Broughton area to be exact of Westmoreland. Now Cruz at the party having a jolly time, spending money drinking liquor when a lone gunman came at the party. That lone gunman point his gun to the back of Cruz's head and press the trigger after which one single shot was heard everybody run for cover when the smoke was clear that gunman escaped and Cruz was seen lying a pool of blood with one single bullet wounds to the back of his head the police are investigating this is Jay Gray News once again to them have a blessed and safe Friday night. Yeah man, I'm here see a black legend. I'm here represent for J Crazy YouTube reviewing channel. So watch, like, comment, subscribe and share out the thing. J Crazy YouTube reviewing channel. In review news and entertainment. Celebrity lifestyle movements as well. J Crazy not play when him a review the thing them. J Crazy YouTube reviewing channel. In review news and entertainment. Celebrity lifestyle movements as well. J Crazy not play when him a review the thing them. Review the thing them, review the thing them Check crazy Reviewing news, entertainment and celebrity lifestyle Review the thing them, review the thing them Check crazy